Hello internet review watchers, this is the trusty crowbar doing a review discussion of the Turtle Beach Z60 headset for, well it's for PC, mm -hmm. also works on Mac and mobile gaming. Alright, mm. so mobile phone gaming and stuff and also oh, was... <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Pretty much uh, actually taking and receiving calls and stuff on your phone as well. Yes. I also use these for that feature. Yes, yeah. I called Reese. He's Douglas like, did call what are you doing? And I'm like, I'll oh, just trying out this. <laughs> Why are you calling like, me in the middle of the night? He's like, I'm like, what's the call quality like? He's like, it's good. I'm like, oh, good. I can hear so, you. Yeah, you know, just, like, just like a although, phone. Although, given that you're. Uh, How was playback speaker, quality, but when I was talking to you, yeah, no, really clean. Yeah, like I guess that's a little bit dependent on your connection. phone's microphone yeah. connection, yeah. etc. But it, it was really clean. Yeah. Now we're going to point out. We'll, we'll start off with the actual look of them. Now Doug's wearing them right now. Yeah. The nice red stripe. It's very look, simplistic. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. It's actually fairly wide. Yep. Um, and looking at it, like you can see, there's a lot of uh, actual airspace between the above Doug's ears. I've got ears. a massive melon head. Yep. Um, and to me, actually, like when I actually felt it on my head, um, it's light. Yeah. Like the top, of it, the top of it doesn't feel like it puts too much pressure and stuff on there, um, but it actually cups the, the actual foam. Can you um, hear him around Doug? your... Yeah, but it <laughs> cuts out so... like a lot of ambient noise yeah. um, mm. of the room and even when you talk like yeah. just yeah. your feedback is totally different mm. it's yeah. insane the size of the actual ear cups really nice like they Fit went around the ears. ears yeah very uh, very really nice. well and what i really like about these ones as opposed to like other headsets which we've tried out um the fabric of the actual cup is um like a textured sort of fabric yeah. it's not um uh like a vinyl it's not not the the pleather yeah, the it's, it's the pleather. Yeah, because that's you know, yeah. when you get sweaty, like you're playing a hectic game, you're getting yeah. really intense in it. You get a bit sweaty around your ears, mm. and it just gets sticky. Yeah, it's sticky and warm and muggy. Where these just just really, really, like comfortable and like it's soft and easy. Really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I played almost the entire season two of Walking Dead with these, yeah. and they're never not a complaint out of um, just from a comfort side of side of things. Like, hmm. you know sound sound aside it was that uh, really comfortable yeah. now yeah. on the top of them as well just by looks i'll take them off your head douglas if that's oh there you go see your glasses askew they have this little and we doug talked about this in the unboxing but this little cushion top to it no, uh, that was to it i'm it, pretty sure you went look no that was him <laughs> what was that that was you that buddy. was you doug yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was me then. The microphone. So that extra protection, if you're running straight directly into a wall, mm -hmm. yeah, it'll probably still hurt. Well, Lucas come, he was like, eh, hit you on the <laughs> head, you'll be okay. Microphone is fully detachable. Yep. So you can just use this as just normal And replaceable um, when Reese loses like. it, yep. you can buy it at the Turtle Beach store. And I, I want to point something out that I really like. It has a big L on the inside there to tell you which That's ears. That's for the right ear, which, right? But yeah, exactly. Yeah. The That's for Lucas. For it's yeah. learner. Lucas and R for Reese. Yeah. Um, yep. The headsets can twist out, you know, full. I don't know yep. why anyone does they, I'm pretty sure that the whole idea for this... In your laptop bag, Lucas. ...would be, yeah, for, to fit. And then if you want to put them down, you don't get dust in them. All right. Let's just point well, something well, out that I didn't think about. That really good idea. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you, know, you put them up this way. If you want to collect dust, then you, you're a dust collector. Yeah, there you go. Um, little buckets of yeah. dust. <laughs> Here you go, man. Dust buckets. <laughs> you put them in your ear and you have a little nice... The dust bucket 4000. May or may not be able to be used as soup bowls, but... Yeah, pr probably not. I wouldn't <laughs> We haven't tried that out. No. Okay, so... I just want to talk about the mic again. The mic is that... What would you call this? The, the shape keeper material? <laughs> <laughs> the shape keeper. I'm not getting into the technical the talk, but the fact that you could just shape it any way you want. It's moldable. Moldable. Yeah. Doug likes that. Word. It's like a snake light. Yep. Easy to plug in and easy to plug out. I like it. Now, yeah, that's great that you can. <laughs> that it is. Uh, cool. Now, uh, I'd like to point out the main difference between like these, yes, the, the slight look and stuff of the red, but compared to like other Total Beach headsets around the same price, this is the difference that you actually get in most of the boxes. Yeah. Okay, this is the Z60 um, amplified part to it. Your actual headset with the three um, line you know, three and a half inch input goes no. into this. I hope it's not three and a half inches. 
<laughs> I don't know what that's <laughs> like. <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> Massive. Plug um, into your floppy drive. <laughs> this, yeah, this is what it goes into here, and then that connects straight into the PC. Now, these ones designed for the PC have a much shorter lead yep. than others, which are out. Like, if you get one which is designed for the PS4, um, as a connected headset, it's much longer because you're sitting further yeah. away. So if you like Doug and you have your computer about 7,000 feet away from you. It mm. was a little in yeah. yeah. Now, in saying that, that this connects to the PC, this input actually works with the PS4 controller. Yeah, we just tested that. Um, so we did just test it. We haven't tested it on the Xbox One yet, but we do know that similar headsets with just this do work in an Xbox One as well. But well, obviously you miss the whole amplified side of it. Yes. Yeah. Headphones. However, I'm not too sure. We haven't tested this. I don't know why we didn't, because we're a bit silly. If that plugging into the PlayStation would work it with the amplifier. Work. may work, so yeah. not too sure. Not saying it will, not saying it won't. But we do know this does. So just this single input can go into the controller. The PS4 controller will work. Also goes into an Xbox One audio stereo adapter yeah. and can work the same way. So your headset that you purchase, which just says PC and Mac, also can work with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But definitely yeah. for optimal experience, it's going to be PC. Yeah, yeah. because this is a full 7.1 surround sound headset. And yeah. that is the one thing which I really wanted to try out about this, just to get that nice feel, because I like surround sound. Um, this is what actually converts the surround sound uh to it so what, what was your opinion of that race well i'll talk about the whole initial setup with all the, the features on it as well it's pretty much got a volume for game um that's pretty much like control for that then you got your chat volume um took me a little while to work out what to do but like it's as long as you read the setups um it's it's easy to actually organize it and control control it if you you just got to go into your settings with like your record and playback and everything like that as well um and just set it up right i thought for a fair while that it didn't have mic feedback um which is one thing that i always need like you always need to hear yourself and if you hear yourself either delayed or you don't hear yourself at all you're either screaming or you're talking like a spaz mm. um and then all it was was just you're holding this little no microphone mic mute button and it flashes a little bit you can hear yourself yeah it comes up but you can yeah. turn that off yeah which is awesome little yeah because i think that annoys me yeah i need to hear myself i was screaming um, little oh. nitpick you can't <laughs> control the volume that it has you can't say I want to hear myself a little bit I want to hear myself a lot mm. um, but that's just move the mic away a little bit and then you'll be fine and it does have a couple of settings to it as well so you've got gaming movie settings and music yep. and off as well and off as well yeah yep. so they change the sound quite a lot yeah. dynamically especially like playing Skyrim like I went through all the settings game settings you could hear a lot of like the foreground mm. and stuff in it like it, it boosted that when I changed down to movie you sort of you still had that but it, it made it a bit more mellower yeah. then going down to music the background really lifted up yeah. um, as opposed to the foreground and stuff and it was interesting to hear the different dynamics and like playing around for a little bit I, but I obviously enjoyed the music one if what the games they are putting in surround sound it's oh, just that it's changing yeah. yeah so what I guess it depends on how the game's been written in terms of from a surround sound point mm. of view if they're then yeah when you're saying the background music well that's mainly going to be your stereo sound yeah. which is what which it's going to pick up and boost for yep for music for music yeah, yeah. yeah it's pretty rare for me to listen to 7.1 surround sound music <laughs> rare but not unlikely <laughs> so it could happen um but they do sound nice they are very very clear mm -hmm. um they're comfortable and another pet like awesome just sort of noise cancellation fit yeah. like they, they really are if you just want to get in the zone yeah now, i do just have to point out now you did mention that you couldn't adjust the mic volume and stuff but yeah. it dynamically adjusts that oh. based on the game sound that you right. so if you so boost the game sound it'll dynamically boost the mic um, so you can hear yourself more, so you can more. Hear yourself. okay yeah. that's cool yeah so that Didn't you don't have that. to worry about that that being said i wasn't screaming and i wasn't playing i was i did boost it up to be super loud but mm. yeah um very simple plug and play yep um the one thing that we should point out about this one it's got 60 mil drivers as opposed to a standard 50 mil driver yeah so the sound was actually that well, that's, I think they've boost. done that for that extra, that bass response as well. Mm. So that's where that sub woofer sound comes in. For the sick. Yeah, for those doof doofs and them beats. Yeah, they sound quite nice. Mm. I approve of them. Over the year. Yeah, it's great. So, mm. yeah. But, um, but uh, back on, like, initial point you said before, where they 
they do feel light. Initially, like before we got to use them, I thought that they may have actually felt too light, mm. like on the sort of, you know, cheap sort of light, but then you actually use them, they're definitely still a really sturdy plastic. And then they, they are then comfortable for, you know, a couple hours session at a time. It's not an issue, like they're comfortable long-term head, yeah. headset mm. to wear. Yeah, so, don't put a and strain they, on you. They look big noggin. I think I'm a, a really big fan of the, I guess, a solid set of headphones that are less gamey looking. Yeah. Um, you know, I owned uh, like some headphones I've had in the past and I just felt like that I was an astronaut. <laughs> like, just ridiculous, <laughs> like from 20, you know, yeah, from like 400 years into the future. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't like, I, they were a good set of headphones. I like the quality, but it's like, I don't, I guess I'm maybe a little different from other gamers, but I, I don't know. For me, I don't need them to look like a gaming set of headphones. They yeah. just need to be good. Like I'm more concerned in the quality. And like you said, just really basic red stripe, you know, Z60s, you know, there's nothing. Yeah. And then just the fairly subtle embossed like Turtle Beach on the top. Like the, it's not over the top aggressive advertising that sometimes happens on headphones that they have yeah. to smash you in the face and say this is our brand yeah mm-hmm. that is turtle beach okay i get it i bought your stuff like i don't need to and i'm just sitting in my lounge room yeah um but <laughs> yeah I, I was yeah really big fan of them like spent a good chunk of time with them and definitely something i could recommend mm. um now these are only 150 bucks oh so, yeah that was going to be my next question yeah. so 149 yeah. which honestly for like specifically for computer gaming and stuff like surround sound is fantastic you yeah. know when you get in there and like you know you watch movies and stuff on computer so you still get that full surround sound experience but the ability and a lot of people don't know like being able to still use it on your ps4 or xbox one is great yeah. you know if you need that extra headset um so for a 150 dollar headset for pc gaming the surround sound this is fantastic like i really liked it i like was not um not upset. So yeah, like, for you sure. like playing with that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I liked it. It's bendy, but um, yeah, a lot of time. The time I, I probably play single player stuff these days. So yeah, I'd still definitely want headphones that have a microphone. Do enjoy being able to take it off out of the way. Yeah. Um, even though, yeah, most of the time they're just going to tuck up um, and sort of sit up out of the way anyway. Yeah. But it's just like something to get damaged or broken, and yeah. you know, for me. Yeah, a bit more comfortable, keeps a dangly thing out of your face. Um, so and also it's replaceable if something like that does bugger break. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's just really, really clever. Like that that's looking after their you know, the guys that buy their product long term. So mm. it's good work by Turtle Beach on that. Yeah. The only thing I'll say it's not really well, you know, the length and stuff of this. So it is literally PC maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. like Reese pointed out probably my particular PC setup because at one stage I didn't have the little controller module there like say balanced on my desk and it was just it did get annoying and heavy like the, it, the that weight doesn't... of this, this this pulling down from this if you don't have this sitting at a desk yeah that got annoying does pull on one ear like it seems so. ridiculous that that would like what that weighs nothing but like enough to be well, does when you're weighing does weigh a little bit when you're weighing nothing down on nothing like these are so, so light yeah. yeah it's just that little extra oh okay, and i'd have to make sure because at one stage it's sort of yeah where my desktop was sitting um yeah it sort of was coming around from the side of my desk uh and if it wasn't balanced on my lap it was yeah it did get a touch annoying and then that usb lead isn't overly long um yeah. i guess these days they assume a lot you know huge percentage of market is laptop and if that laptop on your desk it wouldn't worry at all you just got to make sure you set yourself up upright yeah exactly yeah Yeah. and plus like usb extension leads like five bucks doesn't really matter so it's nothing um there's my final thought it isn't so much many more companies should just make this fabric around your ears like a lot of them do um, but it's just so much more comfortable and it feels so much more nicer. It's breathable mesh ear cushions Ooh. for hours of comfort. Yeah. But rather than, yeah, like a, the fake leather, it's like they're trying to do more than they should and then it's not... Making it more shiny. Yeah, and then it's not uh, something that comes off that well. And obviously, long-term, like you said, you do... Yeah, you take them off and you can see 
yeah, gross set of sweaty yeah. headphones is uh, super yeah. gross. Yeah. Um, instead, this just soak it in. Yep. <laughs> don't even know about it. Um, something else I've got to point out, and some people would be asking, is it doesn't require any installation. It's plug in and play. Yeah. So plug it in and works. But you should set change the settings in it. Yeah. The rest, Quick, keep easy it, steps. Keep in mind, like you're you're basing that a lot off uh, my desktop setup which it's like i have wireless headphones plugged in i have yeah a tv plugged in i've got lots of sound options plugged in yeah. on my uh yeah. on my desktop so it's like a i think that it would default a lot better on other computers yeah, you didn't have so many well it doesn't require any software installation to get it to work so yeah. that's the good thing about that's it awesome. that's what i do like. yeah it's really just via the sound sound panel in, and i should uh, point out it was it is the first pc gaming headset to feature dts headphone x oh. that's a new uh new Dolby standard, from... standard for um surround you know dts headphone -ness. yeah i wonder if that's something that gaming companies would have to actually like yeah use though mm. indeed well that is my thoughts on the total beach z60 yes. did you guys have anything else that you want to yeah, that's good. We yeah. are giving these away. Is that correct? Exactly. Ah. Yeah. Ah. That's right. These are getting given away. We are going to run a giveaway competition on our Twitter. That's Trusty Crowbar AU. Um, go God, on there. That's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> there is. A, will be a tweet. Doug's going to send one out I'm about sorry. the Z60 giveaway. Yeah. All Ooh. we want is you to retweet. You know, give us a follow if you want. That's cool. Um, yeah, just give us a retweet, and. Um, I don't know. Tell us something funny in 140 characters. <laughs> That's what you want. Just something funny, like a knock knock joke. <laughs> Why did the turtle beach cross the road? Oh, oh. Hey, that's a good one. Give us that. Why did the turtle beach cross the road? Retweet this tweet and give us the answer in it as well. Yeah. Be creative. Because mm. we like creative. Yeah. You're actually you're going to get this headset as well. The one we've been using. That I've been like rolling around in my hands. Yeah, I know. Yeah. If you do also want us to sign it in whiteout, we can. And live in Australia as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Competition is for Australian residents only. Yep. Apologies to the rest of the world. Um, but yeah, we that's cost money to send stuff that far away. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it costs money to send it in Australia. Yeah, it does. Do. People now don't want that. No, come on. You just wrecked them. What? Huh? That's better. Oh my God. We have X-Men here. All right, thanks everybody for no, watching. Check out our videos on YouTube, um, unboxing reviews or whatever. We also did an unboxing of this. Mm -hmm. So you can actually view that right here. Doug's silly face. Um, so if you want to see us open it up and some shenanigans and funny giggles, then go watch that. And check out our latest podcast right here. Yep. Because um, it's uh, something cool to watch and uh, listen to. And uh, also this competition will be running for a certain period of time so once it's Jump over on twitter once it's over we are going to post in the description below it's done yep we're going to have that in there as done well. and dusted good yep. work cool all right thanks we're sure. trusty crowbar thanks for checking out our review discussion doug yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>